and welcome to the United Way of North Central Florida 211 Agency Training Part 1. In this training, we're going to talk about how to utilize and access resources through the 211 online database. The first step is to go to the United Way of North Central Florida homepage at www.unitedwaynctfl.org. Once you're on the home page, you're going to go down and click on the 211 button, which you'll see the red arrow by here. Once you click there, you're going to be taken to the 211 home page. Here you have the option of chatting 24-7, 365 with a live 211 representative. And we have that option there because many people are, are wanting to access 211, maybe would like to type back and forth with an agent. Uh, but may not have any cell phone minutes, uh, might be a case manager with a client present and would rather um, do it through chat rather than the phone. So that's just another way to access us. And all you have to do is simply click the 211 chat button and that will allow you to open up a chat box and you simply type back and forth. And it's a very similar process to actually dialing 211 and speaking with an agent. And again, that's available 24 hours, 7 days a week, live. Now to, to check on the searchable database, you want to go ahead and click here. And that's going to take you to the online database. And once here, you're going to want to enter a zip code. And the reason that we encourage you to use zip code as opposed to city is because it makes it easier for the system to list the resources in order of proximity to you. So if you know that where the client resides or you yourself are looking for something that serves your area, a zip code is the best way to narrow that down. Of course, you can do it by city, um, which is that this box here, or you can uh, filter resources as well by age or gender. We encourage people not to filter resources unless they find that the search results they're getting are too large. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I've gone ahead and typed in a keyword here. I've went ahead and typed in food. So once you've entered your zip code, you can type in a keyword or you can go along here and click on a uh, example or category. So you can also click on these categories and narrow it down from there if you don't feel like using keywords. Most of our users do use keywords, so I've typed in food as our example and we're going to go ahead and click search. When you do that, you receive every category related to food. You can see here is food stamp card replacement is here, or congregate meals, nutrition sites, which is like soup kitchens are here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you click on one of these. Everything blue is an actionable item. That means if you click on it, it is going to function for you. So all of these blue categories here on the left-hand side are clickable. So we're going to go ahead and click on food pantries. Now once in here, you're going to see another opportunity for you to click and chat with live, a live 211 specialist. And we do that because we know that sometimes people get a list of resources and there's information and they realize that they have questions. So we're just trying to encourage people to go ahead and utilize our service because we are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, both through chat and phone service. Now the listing that we got, you can see here there's nine locations offering food pantries that serve that zip code. The first one's Salvation Army, the second is Gainesville Community Ministries. Again, everything blue is actionable. So you can see that you can view a map to find the location, or if you want to learn more about food services at this site, you can click on that category, and you see it breaks it out for you, makes it larger. And that now will give you not just the phone numbers and address, but also a service description, the pantry hours, soup kitchen hours, and all the services as defined there. You'll also see that you're going to have more blue items on here where you can select other services that are offered at that location. So they also offer financial assistance, housing services, and clothing. Now you can also print this page, which is up at the top of the page, or you can sort in a different fashion. You can sort by distance, which is how this is sorted right now. You can sort by city, or you can sort alphabetically by agency name. You can also click to view parent agency, and that'll just give you all the information in a different format about the Salvation Army. So you can either click through starting with the parent agency, or you can click through by service category. 
If you have any questions about how to use the online database to access resources or print or do any of the number of other things that case managers, social workers, or our clients may need to do, you can feel free to contact Bob Guerrieri, the 211 Outreach Coordinator. I've listed his email and phone number here. Or you can contact myself. I'm the director of 211, and my name is Carrie Jewell. And I've listed my email as well as my phone number here. We also have two other agency trainings available for you. Uh, the agency training part two, that goes over the up, how to update your agency's information in the online database. And then we also have the agency training part three, which discusses how to uh, use the customized report function. So you can request customized reports about your agency and how 211 is referring callers. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Bob Guerrieri or myself at any time.